Today, we're in Boston, and I'm here to talk with Rob Shaw about VLLM and LLMD. Stay tuned. Rob, thanks for joining me to talk a little bit more about LLMD. I mean, let's get right into it. Why does it matter? Well, as we really think about LLMs, they're very, very compute intensive. VLLM was really a key uh, component to, you know, make a single, you know, node uh, go really, really, really fast. And LLMD takes the view of how can we do this at a, a cluster level and really make it easy for users to take advantage of these cluster scale distributed optimizations uh, that we know can help improve the performance per dollar that you're able to get out of your accelerators and, and make that really consumable and, and easy inside of a an open source stack on top of Kubernetes. We can't do this in a silo. It takes a community. Talk a little bit more about the open source community involved. The concept of recreating the wheel uh, to implement everything that Kubernetes has in it. <laughs> We've brought together really two amazing communities. It's the you know Kubernetes Gateway Extension API community and the VLM community. Community-driven projects really uh, set the stage for the various parties to uh, contribute um, and make sure that their piece is running really, really well and uh, really compose it all together. Um, so that's why I've been really excited to work on projects in the you know PyTorch, uh, VLM, Kubernetes ecosystems uh, to you know, try to bring this together and make it consumable for, for users. What's to come in the next couple months and something that I can get an inside scoop on? Yeah, I, I don't know if I can say too much, but I don't expect things to slow down and I'm sure I'm going to be very surprised by whatever happens next. But um, what I definitely know is it will be fun and exciting and uh, the ecosystem will continue to raise the bar. Yeah, Rob, thanks for the insight and for food for thought. Appreciate you.